Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In question period yesterday, the Human Services Minister said, and I quote, I will review the CIS. You said that. This is great news and a decision that I and many of the stakeholders who reached out to me applaud, as it seems their concerns are finally being heard by this government. To the Minister of Human Services, what is the timeline for conducting this review and when will it be made public for Albertans? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Member, for the question. Yes, I did say in the question period that I will review the CIS Sport Intensity Scale. And I also mentioned it's a huge undertaking uh, that involves 11,000 person on those supports. So we will take needed and necessary time to make sure that we get it right. Mr. Speaker, given that in question period yesterday, the minister also said, and I quote, we are not keeping the CIS. Yeah, we heard that. Given this is a concern that I and the stakeholders that I've been working with have been advocating for, this is a move we applaud. To the Minister of Human Services, will you commit today to immediately suspending the CIS program until your review is complete? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I would again reiterate that there are 11,000 people uh, who have gone through the sport intensity scale uh, interviews and their sports were determined by the previous government through this scale and this was the policy brought by the previous government and it will take time to change it and I would suggest that member was in government he knows it she knows it takes time and only responsible thing would be to help me communicate that, that these things take time, and I will take Thank time. you, Honourable Minister. Second sentence. It's not honest. I wasn't asking not about honest. the review in that question. I was asking you to suspend CIS. It's a simple yes and no. Mr. Speaker, again, given that yesterday in question period, the Minister of Human Services said that he was committed to, and I quote, bringing in a policy that is more respectful, engaging the supports that people with development disabilities need. Again, to the minister, you have admitted this is disrespectful. You have said it's going to stop. Will you commit right here and now to meet the families, to stop CIS, and to consult with these very important stakeholders? Honourable Minister. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Member, for the question. Yes, this was disrespectful and brought by the previous government without consulting. And what I will, what I will do, I will, I will work with the stakeholder, I will consult stakeholders, I will consult all those who are impacted by this scale and bring in a policy which is more respectful towards people, persons with disabilities, and that gauges their sport in a respectful manner. Good.